Hello there, Samantha here. And in this video, I wanna show you one of my best tips in Gmail. And this is how you can quickly clear the Gmail inbox or as I like to call it, do an inbox spring clean. Now, this is something that's really helpful if you've got a huge backlog of emails in your inbox. And I'm not just talking unread, I'm just talking like read messages as well, literally all of those ones in your inbox. And you've just let them build up and build up and you wanna get rid of them quickly. So perhaps it's just been something that's happened over a few years, or maybe you've been on extended leave and you've come back and you're like, I just need a clean slate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it quickly and how to do it easily. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so here I am in my inbox. And as you can see, I have been letting it build up. I have 806 unread messages and I have a total of 890. You can see up the top corner here. Now, this is actually where we're gonna start on our little journey today because the first thing we're gonna do before we actually do the spring cleaning process is actually figure out what our oldest email is. And that's gonna become useful in a moment. So we can hover over this little one to 50 of 890 up here and go to oldest. Now, just before I do that though, if you don't see this as I'm seeing it now, it might be because you have like unread first inbox style or you might be using priority inbox or something like that. If that's the case, you usually need to sort of scroll down to the section that's called like everything else um, and click on that and you'll see it there. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, anyway, so let's come into oldest and you'll see it's gonna reverse sort them here. So if we scroll down, my oldest is 2015. So that's quite old, but this is significant because often what we do when we do a spring clean is that we do it year by year. Now, the reason is if you have a lot of emails in your inbox, and when I say a lot, like I have met people with over 200,000 in their inbox, right? So when you've got that many, if we try and spring clean them and get rid of them all at once, then um, it actually can cause a few problems. What I tend to find happens is it doesn't actually clear all of them. It kind of like chokes after a while and just, and just bombs out. So if that's the case, if you've got quite a lot, I recommend you doing year by year, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. In my case, I've only got sort of like 860 odd, it's not, or 890 odd, it's not gonna be a problem, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so other important point about this before we get started, we're not actually gonna delete these, we are going to archive them. So they're going to end up um, in, if we come in here to more, they're gonna end up in all mail. And if any of them do have labels already, they will end up in those labels as well. But I do have some videos about archiving and all mail and such. Uh, so I'll drop those links in below this one as well if you wanna understand more about that. But for this process, just know we're not deleting them, we're just archiving them. Okay, so let's get it happening. First step we're gonna do is we're kind of gonna come up here and click on the little show search options. Don't try and say that quickly. Um, and drop down our advanced search box. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a tip here to get what we need in that search box and then we're gonna modify it. So first of all, we're gonna say that we just wanna search in inbox because we're doing an inbox spring clean. And where it says date within one day, what I want you to do is leave that as one day and just come over into the next box and just select a date, like today, yesterday, whatever, I don't mind, any date, just select it and click search. Because what's gonna happen when we do that is it's going to pop some um, search syntax up the top here, right? That we can then use, we can modify for our spring clean. So you'll see it's only found one message for me. That's fine, I've only been doing it to here for a day. So if we wanted to do um, all messages for a particular year, for example. We can do that by modifying year dates. But at the very least, what we would probably do is we'd probably want to set a cutoff point for our spring clean. So you might think, I wanna clear everything from my inbox except the stuff from the last month or the last week or the last three months, like whatever works for you. And that's why having these dates here is important because we can then modify it. So I'm gonna show you two examples. I'm gonna show you a year based one and then just like everything <laughs> except the last few months. So if we do year based, if you remember my oldest email was 2015, but we might do say 2017, let's find everything from 2017. So. How I do that is I'm gonna come in here and I wanna find everything after the 31st of December, 2016, and everything before, hang on, let me get this right, <laughs> the 1st of January, 2018. So that will find everything in between, which is everything in 2017. 
So you can see I've just changed those dates. I'm not changing anything else. I'm just gonna push enter and I've got some emails here, great. I actually don't have very much. So in this case, it's gonna be super easy, right? I can just come over and select all of them, click archive and they're gonna be out of my inbox, yay. But if you've got more, then you need to do an extra little step. So that's gonna be the second search I'm gonna show you now, um, which will just be like everything before a certain date. So, um, but before I do that, I just might mention, if you are doing it year by year, if you've just done say 2017 and you're ready to do 2018, you would just move these year dates up one. So you just literally repeat this process for each year until your inbox is clear as to what you want it to be, right? So you don't have to re come into the search box or anything like that. Just keep modifying those dates and keep repeating the process. So let's take out after, because what I want to do is show you a one that captures everything before. And I'm going to do 2024, because that's the year we are in when I'm recording. And we're in April. I might actually do everything before the 1st of January, 2024, right? So everything last year and back. So I'm going to do enter now. And you'll see we have a lot more here. So you'll see one to 50 of many. Now I can come over here and again, click select and it's going to select them. But I want to point out this here. It says all 50 conversations on this page are selected. So it's actually only selected the first page and we have many, many, many pages of these. So we don't want to have to go through and do this page by page. So what we can do now is say, select all conversations that match this search. And it's now selected all of those search results. I could then click archive and that's it. They're out of my inbox. They're, they're gone. So that's the process. I'm not going to click the archive button because I'm guessing I'm going to need to do this demo again at another point in time. But that's literally as simple as it is. So whether you want to do it year by year or just everything before a certain date, up to you. But just remember, as I said earlier, if you've got a lot in your inbox, I do recommend year by year, at least until you get to the current year so you can clear that backlog. So there you have it. As I said, like my favorite tip in Gmail, I have helped so many people with this over the years and it is always the number one thing that can bring so much relief when you've got a really clogged up inbox. People get so much satisfaction out of like clicking that little archive button and watching the numbers drop. So you can do this process as often as you need it. Um, and as I said, just keep repeating it year by year, changing those dates and you'll be set. So if you've got any questions, um, as always, very happy to answer. Pop in a comment below and drop me a like if this was helpful for you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.